Is there a reason you're looking at me so intently? Shion's kind of turned into the local fashion critic in our group. So this is what lords like you wear. Certainly looks the part. I can tell at a glance what high quality everything is. It's not often Shion's that impressed. You wear a lot of rings too, don't you? They were a gift. Purchased rather cheaply, or so I was told. What's your definition of cheap exactly? I believe it was around 100 to 200,000 gold. What? If my wolf head cost 10 gold, then that'd mean... Holy crap! They cost a thousand times more?! 10,000 times more! If he sold those things off, I bet he could build a damn mansion with them. At the very least, he'd never go hungry the rest of his life. You're all beginning to sound alarmingly interested in my rings. Dohalim, your spare bracers were getting dirty, so I polished them up along with the rest of your equipment. Why, thank you, Kisara. I greatly appreciate that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you sure seem to fuss over Dohalim a whole lot, Kisara. It is a little strange. Almost like you're still in his service. Really? That's certainly not my intention. Besides, he's not the only one I'm like that with. Hey, Law? I saw your clothes were starting to get holes in them, so I stitched them back up for you. Oh, wow. Thanks, Kisara. Point taken. Do you just like looking after people? I wouldn't go so far as to say I like it, but I get anxious if I don't. I'd always like to help if I can. It comes naturally to me. Back in the day, Miguel and I used to look after the younger kids a lot, so that's probably where it comes from. He taught me everything I know, and I mean everything. How to cook with wild plants, how to sew clothes so they'll last. Without him, we never would have been able to survive. However, you're not a lord anymore, Dohalim. You need to get used to the idea that people aren't just going to wait on you hand and foot. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm ashamed to admit that I felt no qualms about her doing all that for me. As both a renin and especially as a lord, one becomes too accustomed to those beneath you tending to your every need, both renins and danins alike. Sure, that's how all you Renans are probably raised. But just to be clear, we're not your servants, Dohalim. Got that? Absolutely. Moments such as this provide me with ample opportunity to confront my unease. It is difficult to tend with my own motivations. What do you mean? The truth of the matter is that my espousal of coexistence in Menencia hardly came from an idealistic place. That instinctive unease I feel deep within serves as a reminder for what it is that I that all of us here fight for. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one's going to abandon you if you aren't always perfect. Looking at her now, I think she's more like his mom than his servant. Hmm. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. <sighs> oh, no, it's just... I'm looking at our finances and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. Half? Dohalim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? Whoa, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Well, if it's to preserve Danon history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. 
I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realize that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. You have to internalize the concept too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or anything. Shut up, Alfin. Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. Alfin, your blazing sword draws its power from Xion's Fire Master Core, right? So I'm told. Then why don't you use yours, Dohalim? You mean my Earth Master Core, yes? Yeah, I mean, you still carry it around with you, don't you? I do. Each Master Core contains the astral energy harvested from Danon's slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the Lords, can wield them. They nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. If only the Lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Xion can use theirs? That may be because Xion has embedded the Fire Master Core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? Just as Danans see Master Cores as symbols of the lives and resources robbed from them, so too do I view mine as a symbol of our lasting sins. The pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors, as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my master core. It is a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. <sighs> <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. A little late for that. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's been catching fish with Kisara, and he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone, too. Just like they did to him. You sound like you're okay with that. Yeah. More than okay, really. It feels natural having Hoodle and everyone around. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh. I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? Do I really look that old to you? Huh? You don't like that? Okay, how about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. And Kisara can be our mom. Well, then how about Dohalim for the dad? I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dohalim. He's more like an uncle. An old uncle, who's too preachy and snarky for his own good sometimes. And as for Law, hmm, well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and Law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Hmm, this is hard. Oh, Law can be the pet dog. A dog? Do dogs really count as part of a family? Of course they do. If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> when you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. I just want to keep traveling the world with you guys the way we are right now.
You okay? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Actually, I think I'm gonna go practice with Hoodle for a bit. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. I want to go back to bed. Looks like trouble with a capital C. Together we go. Prepare to be sealed. First strike. Go in. Take this. I'll end this. It's over. Four more feet. My fist. They won the game. Severing wind. Clipper dragon. Find freak. What can they do? Fill. Fill out. Astral energy. Full throttle. Here I come. Let's roll now. That's it. Rising wind. Full throttle. Flame of fury. Burning. They're going to go up here. Here's the evil. Oh, did you see this coming? Let me show you see what I just did. Do it! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you continue on in that thing. Uh, what? Something you wanted to say? There's always room for improvement. Mahog Sar, a land where the winds scar and the clouds stretch far. Kisara? What is he doing? Reciting a poem, apparently. Just let him be. My precision improving. This 
next one. Great right here. Here. I got you. You picked the wrong fight. Blow away. Lightning. Dazzle. Oh, Rising Falcon. I'm on. Listen, oh, the mark. You can handle this. You're mine. Nothing you can right. Law. I'll stop your movement. And I'll stop your life. And done. Let's keep up the pace. Be still. Rising Falcon. One more. Shield. You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your Ooh. back. Ooh. 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 Who 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 Maybe something's going on in the forest. Like this should be easy. Fight. 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 Get behind me! Ready! Tiger Blade! Eat this! Confiscated! Radiant Pier! You too shy to come over? Blade Rising Wyvern! This one's all mine! Blade Blade! 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 These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. You've got a knack for battle. I still plan on training, though. That's what I like to hear. Come on, severing wind! Glacial fire! Dragon war! Denied! Eagle attack! Not today! Anything in order! Do it! Demons descend! Flashing Fang! This should make for some good weapon crafting material. Until it's over. Huh. Who said anything about letting off? Here, let me help. Look sharp. First aid. Explosive ring. Dragon shell. Now you've gone and ticked me off. Look sharp. Let the marksman handle it. Glimmer flash. You're mine. This one's mine. Eagle assault. This should do it. I'm on guard. Here we go. This is mine. This one's all mine. Look sharp. Burn it hell. What is this? Prepare to be seen! In a vine! I'm on it! I'm expert! Go in there! 
chop up vegetable scraps and use them in the seasonings. Sure to know, and that's what it was going to be about. There's history in the air here. I can smell it. I don't smell anything. Don't encourage him. Like bait to them. Swallow it! Here! Going Rising in! Falcon. Take it! Going in! Let them mind! Rising 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 that training paying off. Everyone hanging in there?
way. Whirlwind shattering the Dragon Ball! Here's the evil, not in your dreams. Dragon Shout! Freeze Lancer! Rising Wyvern! I'm ready! You die! Tower of Hurricane! Hurricane Thrust! Is it in the sky? It's gone! Damn it! Too fast! Stand back! I'll trip it up. Time to shine! Blow away! Going in! Take this! Sonic thrust! Ignite! Crumble! Next Do it! One is mine. Will this help? Jolene! All yours, Kisara! I'll heal you all! Dragon Prepare shell. to be Look shielded! Shot. Take this! I'll tear Here you apart! Dragon Shell! 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 Refrain from losing. Judging by the stench, I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now!
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? This place gives me the creeps. You really think that lord is hiding out here? Be careful. The air is dense with astral energy. Something's not quite right about this place. How are you able to pick up on all this stuff anyway? Is it something that all astral arts wielders can do? I must admit, I'm curious myself. Perhaps her den and bloodline has something to do with it. <laughs> Dohalim. Apologies. I meant no disrespect. Stay alert, everyone. There's a good chance that she already knows we're here. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Hmm. I suppose if you're a lord going into hiding, a forest is one place to turn. We don't know for sure she's here. Keep looking. Food there looks pretty tasty. Yep, we can fix that new recipe with it. I eagerly await the final result. Like this should be easy. Water! Here we go! I'm not! Sorry, let it fear! I got you! This one is mine! If it curls up, time to get out of the way! Crook! Tiger Blade! It's turned up to the face! It's turned up like that, it's easy! 
I'm glad you have your use. Here, let me help. Go in. I'll in a show body. you how useful I can be. Oh, now I'm real mad. <laughs> Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. See that? That training's Go. paying off. Go in. Go in. Go in. I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Going in! Save me! Get down! Shoot this! I can make it rain! Look sharp! Lightning tiger blade! Nice one, Alfin! Yeah, there's more where that came from. of the trash. First strike! One go! Go! Oh, it's ready to go! It's Do like it. trying to be going to the wall! Ready to go! Here's a healing arm! Right. Right. We got the fire to you, Tom. We've all got target. enough on us. Yes, ma'am! Look sharp! Stay back! Here's the evil! I'll trip it up. Here's your form! Eat this! Ready! Do it! Now. The enemy use arc too. You'll soon see about that. This one's mine. Ready and ready. Here I come. Ready and here. Luna Rongo. Uh, I'm out. Dragon. I'll I'm finish you here and now. Uh, eat this. Eagle assault. This one's mine. Armor won't save you. Water. Hear my call. Here I come. Oh, I can't get out of this. Crap the sword. Here's the evil. Let's make your way. I'm ready. Still. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. How much longer will our healing arts last? <laughs> 